The end has finally come for a Las Vegas Strip icon. Lawsuits challenge a new Las Vegas Strip scam. Controversy continues for F1. The Lake Mead water levels get a boost. And is toxic sludge invading the Tesla tunnels? There's a lot to talk about during this Las Vegas update for April 2024. April is a great time to visit Las Vegas, and the weather is typically gorgeous. Average daily high temperatures increase over the course of the month from about 76 degrees to 84 degrees. Nice. April is also typically one of the driest months of the year in Las Vegas. Pool season is getting back in full swing with pool parties and day clubs. Arrivederci, Tropicana. Yes, Tropicana closed on April 2nd and the preparations for the demolition have begun. A 10-foot demolition wall will soon be erected around the site as an estimated cost of $500,000. The plan is to demolish the Tropicana by the end of 2024 and following that, the construction of the $1.5 billion 33,000-seat stadium can get started. The new renderings of the stadium reveal a design reminiscent of Sydney's iconic opera house. The non-retractive roof is likened to a spherical armadillo, y'all, adding a distinctive look to the waterfront stadium. Oh, Formula One. Continued controversy over Formula One Las Vegas. A recent county commission meeting about the Las Vegas Grand Prix held last November discussed many of the major complaints from the commission, including frequent missed deadlines and lack of timely information sharing by race officials. Transport problems, notably for strip employees, were also highlighted. The county spent over 17 thousand hours and 4.3 million dollars on the race but only recouped 3.8 million dollars indicating a net loss of around five hundred thousand dollars and get this f1 is still looking to get reimbursed for part of the 88 million dollars it spent on infrastructure improvements to the strip but it's pretty unclear whether the reimbursement is going to happen at this point and uh future race preparations are claiming to take only three months versus last year's nine months but we will see soon enough Stay tuned. Hold up, is Hollywood coming to Vegas? Well, Clark County Commission has given the green light for a whopping $1.8 billion movie studio and mixed use development in Summerlin. Now, the project is a collaboration between Howard Hughes Holdings and Sony Entertainment, and it's to be known as the Summerlin Production Studio. Now, the site will feature 10 buildings, including retail, restaurants, and offices over 500,000 square feet. Now, no timeline has been revealed just yet. Woohoo! Lake Mead gets a boost. Yep, snowfall in the Rockies is bringing much new needed relief to the parched Colorado River. Now, current snowpack sits at 110% of average, boosting projections for Lake Mead's water levels. And the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation now predicts 2.5 feet more water in the reservoir by November compared to earlier forecasts. But get this, Lake Mead still currently sits at a critical 37% capacity. The improved projections offer hope, but experts warn there's still a long way to go before declaring victory over the ongoing drought. Workers in the Las Vegas Loop Tunnels were recently reported to be suffering due to a buildup of waste in the tunnels likened to a milkshake consistency that burns on contact. Ugh. Now the waste is reportedly from accelerants used to set the grout for building the tunnels and Nevada's Occupational Safety and Health Administration is investigating the situation. The American Civil Liberties Union or ACLU has filed a lawsuit against the new county ordinance that prohibits stopping on pedestrian bridges over the strip. The lawsuit filed on behalf of a wheelchair user claims that the ban unfairly targets people with disabilities. Now, while we believe this is the first legal challenge to the ordinance, which some have described as a type of scam and is confusing to us on how it will be enforced, we doubt it will be the last. A scorpion sting at the Venetian sparks a lawsuit. A Californian man is suing the Venetian after claiming he was stung by a scorpion in his sleep at the resort's Palazzo Tower. According to his attorney, the scorpion stung him multiple times on his genitals. Wee. Despite reporting the incident to the hotel, he was still charged for the room. And Venetian claims it followed all protocols. And speaking of the Venetian, well, the Venetian is set to unveil its significantly expanded poker room this summer. Located on the second level of the Grand Canal shops near the Palazzo's parking garage, the new 14,000 square foot space claims to be the largest poker room in Las Vegas, boasting 50 tables up from the current 35. Now, the room will also feature self-serve soda and coffee machines, private restrooms, multiple TVs, and charging ports at every seat because they don't want y'all leaving y'all. And get this, there's a dedicated streaming room which will allow players to host vlogging sessions and live stream games. 
Wow. The Sun Coast is finally getting a major makeover, y'all. Boyd Gaming has revealed plans for a significant renovation of its 24-year-old Sun Coast Hotel Casino in Northwest Las Vegas. The two-year project will include a new stadium-style sports book, a new bingo room, a 70-seat chandelier bar, and a modernized casino. And of course, a food hall will also replace the former buffet area. A 1.36-acre property on the south end of the Strip, just across and a little past Mandalay Bay, it failed to sail at an auction for a minimum bid of $12.5 million. Once home to the former Diamond Inn Motel, the property includes 237 feet of strip frontage and is zoned for a hotel casino. The property has received no bids. It's now listed strangely at $25 million despite receiving no bids at $12.5 million and an adjacent 2.2 acre property selling for $12.8 million in 2022. Oh, those resort fees, they continue to soar. Wynn Resorts recently increased its resort fees by $5 to $50, mirroring similar moves by MGM Resorts. Now this obviously only continues an aggravating trend of ever increasing resort fees all across Las Vegas. Or Atomic Golf, announced in October 2021, recently opened its doors next to the Strat. Now, this golfing haven sprawls over 100,000 square feet with four floors housing 101 golfing bays, a 212-yard range, and two unique cannon bays. Golfers can track their stats on the Patton Trackman platform and enjoy a drink at one of the six full-service bars. We're definitely looking forward to checking this place out. The World Series of Poker will kick off its 55th annual tournament on May 28th at the Horseshoe in Paris. The main event begins on July 3rd with the finale table being played on July 16th and 17th. Now, last year's main event drew a record 10,043 players with the first place prize of $12.1 million, which also sets a new record. Y'all know we used to talk a lot about playing slots and loving those old vintage slot machines, you know, the ones that drop the coins? Well, Slots of Fun unveils vintage coin machines. Slots of Fun, owned by Circus Circus, has introduced over 75 retro token operated slot machines in various denominations. Now, coin machines from Circus Circus were moved to Slots of Fun with additional machines sourced from local vendors. The Palms now requires reservations for its super popular Wednesday and Thursday lobster buffet. Now, walk-ups will not be accommodated, so it's important to make reservations via the Palms website. There are also new procedures for using the member rewards online offer for a buy one, get one free buffet. Guess who's coming to Adventure Dome? Yup, SpongeBob splashes right into Adventure Dome. Adventure Dome at Circus Circus recently unveiled its new $6 million SpongeBob SquarePants themed crazy carnival ride. We love rides, y'all. Now, the interactive dark ride takes guests on a fun-filled journey through Bikini Bottom. Treasure Island recently welcomed gamers to The Cove, its new 7,400-square-foot arcade. With 27 games and activities, The Cove is situated where Kahuna Vale used to be near the pool across from the Mysterio Theater. Now, game cards start at $20 for 30 minutes of play. Area 15 has always been fun, weird, and crazy, and it's set to bring the world of the crazy John Wick movies to life, partnering with Lionsgate to create the John Wick experience. So, for you John Wick fans, this 12,000 square foot attraction will immerse guests into John Wick's fantastical underworld, taking them on a high stakes adventure. Now, the opening date is expected to be later this year. And speaking of celebrity, well, Emmett Smith Steakhouse finally opened. Emmett's Vegas Steakhouse recently opened its doors at the Fashion Show Mall. The 30,000 square foot establishment, named after, of course, Dallas Cowboy legend Emmett Smith, features several stories with views of the strip. Now, a legal drama has delayed the opening, which is why it took so long, and it was initially announced three years ago. And with that delay, I hope it gave them enough time to put together a fantastic menu, which we're definitely looking forward to checking out. So stay tuned. Junior's Restaurant and Bakery, renowned for its cheesecake, has finally opened its doors at Resorts World. This is the first location outside the East Coast for the Brooklyn-based eatery. In addition to its 25 varieties of cheesecakes, Junior offers a full-service deli and New York-style dinner menu, featuring breakfast items, soups, salads, sandwiches, steaks, seafood, barbecue, and chef specialties. Yep, Margaritaville shuts down. The long-standing Margaritaville restaurant at the Flamingo was closing on April 15th. It's sad, and we're gonna miss it. You know, we spent many nights on the upper outdoor deck, sipping on margaritas, watching the sunset behind behind Caesar's Palace. Now it's a great location, Center Strip, and we're interested in finding out what will be coming into the space. Hey, if you have a favorite memory of Margaritaville there, let us know in the comments below. Perfect time. Hey, take a second if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you keep getting some of the best Las Vegas content out there. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Allegiant Stadium continues to be stacked with big names in 2020.
2024. Billy Joel and Sting team up for a night on November 9th, followed by a country music extravaganza with George Strait, Chris Stapleton, and Little Big Town on December 7th. Dead and Company, the Grateful Dead spinoff band is set to perform a 24-show residency at Sphere from May 16th to July 13th. Welcome to the Hotel California. Yes, get ready for the Eagles in Las Vegas. The Eagles are rumored to have agreed to a residency at Sphere scheduled from September to December following the conclusion of their long goodbye tour. UFC fans, mark your calendars for September 14th because UFC is set to make its debut at the Sphere. Now, while details are still under wraps, the event is expected to be a major highlight of the Mexican Independence Day festivities. Lady Gaga is back and set to return to Dolby Live at Park MGM with an eight-date mini residency in June and July. Tickets are now on sale starting at $170. Bruno Mars's jazz bar now swinging. Yup, Bruno Mars's celebrity jazz bar Pinky Ring recently opened inside the Bellagio Casino. It's open from 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. Sunday to Thursday and until 3 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Reservations are highly recommended. And speaking of Bruno Mars, well, Mars mania continues in Vegas. Bruno Mars can't get enough of Vegas and neither can his fans. After already extending his residency at Dolby Live at Park MGM with five sold out shows earlier this month, he's now added another 12 dates in June, August, and September. Tickets are already on sale starting at $225. J Lo's about to light up the T Mobile Arena here in Vegas as she's set to hit the stage on July 20th as part of her This Is Me Now tour, marking her first tour in five years. The tour will cover 30 cities across the US and Canada over the summer. Tickets are now on sale starting at about $65. Y'all, Mariah Carey is back with an eight-show mini residency at Park MGM's Dolby Live, spanning from April 12th to the 27th. The celebration of Mimi Live in Las Vegas will feature hits from her multi-platinum 2005 album, The Emancipation of Mimi, along with other career favorites. Tickets are now on sale starting at $80. The legendary rock band Pearl Jam is set to electrify Las Vegas with two performances at the MGM Grand Garden Arena on May 16th and 18th. These shows are part of a 35-day worldwide tour promoting their 12th album. Pearl Jam originates from the 90s grunge era, boasts a proud history of 100 million album sales. Hey, if you have some tips or suggestions you think others coming to Las Vegas during the month of March would appreciate, we'll leave them in the comments below. And if you want to know 30 crazy fun free things to do in Las Vegas right now, well watch that video right here. Oh wait a second, it's right over there. You see it? It, just, it had popped up right, right, right there. All right y'all, and we'll see you in the next one.